Hey guys, what's up? Chris the Asian here. Um, let's get started on how to build your own computer. It's fairly easy. Um, here are the following things you need, and I'll show you as we go through. Let's see. Of course, we need a case. Right there, we need a case. That's one thing that we need. Um, make sure it can fit your video cards. Make sure it has adequate cooling you know if it doesn't have fans buy fans for it um, right here this is I'm working with the PVA case um, um, the ease of access of getting in and out of your case you know as you can tell this one has a door hinge and you can just open and close it and it's very easy it had this has hard drive cages uh, and this can hold up to I think let's see two four five six six fans Two, two 80 millimeters in front, 80, mm, 80 millimeter on the side, 80 millimeter at the top, and 120 millimeters in the back. So, um, <clears throat> make sure when looking for a case, it's sturdy, lightweight, easy to carry around. Um, unlike this one, it's made of steel. It's very heavy, so it's kind of hard or kind of heavy to carry around. Anyways, the next thing we need is this. If you don't know what this is, guys, this is a motherboard. This is the Asus um, 32 Slide Deluxe motherboard. It's a uh, AMD socket 939, which is kind of old. To, well, for me, it's kind of old. Um, when looking for a motherboard, make sure it has cooling on like the North Bridge and South Bridge. And um, with this one, it comes with a fan you put onto the heat sink. We'll get that. We'll get into that later. And this one right here. It has four USB uh, connectors and two RJ45 connectors or Ethernet ports. Um, it has an eSATA, has an optical, um, I guess, an optical connector here. Uh, you, of course, you get your mouse and keyboard PS2 connectors. And uh, what I don't have here, which is already on the um, case itself, actually, no, it's not even on the case. Well, I didn't know where it went, but it's called the IO shield plate, which is a metal piece that fits right about in here where this stuff right here will poke out. Okay, and if you hadn't noticed already, I have a CPU in here already. Um, right here, that's a I don't even know which one it is, I think it might be a 3800 AMD processor single core. Um, and yeah, and of course, with every CPU, you get a heat sink. Uh, I prefer aftermarket heat sinks. Why? Because I don't like anything stock. That's just how I am. So this is what your typical AMD, you know, heat sink would look like. And it'll probably come with thermal compound on them already. But I wouldn't recommend using that. You can. It's not a bad thing. But I, I don't like using stock things. Once again, of course. If you're using the same heat sink, you need thermal compound. I'll be working with Arctic Silver 5 right here. And of course, you need RAM. Which is, these are just DDR RAM, book 512, DDR 400. Um, yeah, so you need that. And of course, you need a power supply, but I don't have a spare power supply to show you. Why? Because it's in my computer and I only have one power supply. And this is just leftover crap. Anyways, you need connectors power to you know this or that connectors more cables and oh yeah operating system this is an OEM Vista 32 bit so it'll probably come in something like this retail it give you a fancy box but who gives a shit about fancy boxes anyways you need a DVD reader DVD ROM um, or DVD burner or higher if you're using Vista to install a CD-ROM drive would not work. Um, oh yeah, since we're over here, you need a screwdriver, the screw grabber thingy, my bobber, which I call it, and a power supply tester. What is this for? Test the power supply, make sure it's operating. You know, make sure it's operating, make sure it works. Instead of hooking everything up, you know, connecting everything, then you put it in there, then you go and turn the power on, and all of a sudden nothing works and come to find out it's a silly cable or power supply is bad so this is a, a plus a, pow a power supply tester before you know before doing anything just make sure it works first and of course you need hard drive or hard drives 
And of course you need a video card. And of course you need a monitor. But not that one. That's an old. I would recommend an LCD monitor. LCD monitor about at least 22 inches. Uh, maybe 19 inch non wide screen. Um, before ever, 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 ever putting together a computer, you need a static strap, a static wrist strap. Why? Because static electricity, you touch something on the motherboard, it go and it's not functional anymore. Which I don't have today because I don't use one. Why? Because I touch a, a metal non-painted um, non surface. Yeah, let me repeat that. A metal non-painted surface to discharge any kind of static electricity inside my body. So you can touch, you know, your computer case that's not painted. Um, you can touch any kind of metal part, you know. Maybe I can touch, you know, this bike here. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's the first part of my movie, and I hope you guys will stay tuned for part two. I'm so sick and